Welcome back to High School Huddle. We resume week five with Division Two. Burn Burton is the new front runner in the division after last week's decisive win over the reigning D2 state champ Fairhaven. The Bulldogs are 4-0, one of just three undefeated teams left in Vermont. The unbeaten Bulldogs take their streak to Barry to pay a visit to the Spalding Crimson Tide. Now, Burn Burton already leading 7-0 in the first quarter. Jake Baker adds on, shaking everyone and taking it to the house. 14-zip Burn Burton and Spalding quarterback Jason Pearson tries to get something going, but only finds the wrong colors. Joey McCoy picks him off, and the Bulldogs get the ball back. Now, later in the second quarter, McCoy does it on defense, too, finding Jake Nicholson. He turns on the Jets and skates into the end zone to make it 34-0. Burn Burton's on top still. Spalding's Pearson tries to muster up some late points. He hits Zach Millett to get on the board, but Spalding still trails 34-6. The Tide can't come back. Burn Burton rolls on 55-6 to stay perfect at 5-0. Elsewhere in D2, the Milton Yellow Jackets go for a third straight win on senior night, but Mount Abe stands in their way as the Eagles try to bounce back from last week's loss. Scoreless through the first nine minutes until Kevin Pearsall manages to bust through the line for six. Following the missed two-point conversion, the Eagles still lead 6-0. Just moments into the second quarter, the Yellow Jackets answer back with a score of their own. This time, it's senior Eric Godin who finds a gap and outruns everyone to put the Yellow Jackets up 7-6. Milton doesn't stop there. Four minutes left in the half. Colin Mathis gets a short toss and blazes through the open field to put Milton ahead 13-6. Now time winding down toward halftime, Eagles QB Nevin Jemison throws a prayer only to be picked off by none other than the Milton QB Jacob LeWare. Time expires, they head into halftime and the Yellow Jackets keep it going, coming out on top with a 21-12 win. Closing out our D2 coverage, Linden and Mount Anthony entered the night with the same record but the Vikings take the upper hand with a 21-6 win over the Patriots. In Section 7 action, high school football fans should have this game circled on their calendars. The undefeated Beekmantown Eagles put their perfect mark on the line tonight against a strong Plattsburgh team. The Hornets are 3-1, fresh off their first loss of the season at the hands of Mariah last week. So it's bounce back time for PHS and win streak time for B-Town. It was scoreless through the first quarter, and in the second, Plattsburgh strikes first. Ian DiTulio opts for the long ball and finds Cameron Colburn for the 31-yard TD. 6-0 Plattsburgh as he tumbles in. Beekmantown returns the favor two minutes later. Running back Christian Mora breaks through the Hornet defense. He tallies six there and that evens the score. Now under a minute left to go in the second quarter. Second and goal, Plattsburgh knocking on the door again, and it's the big tight end, number 88, Zach Bieber, with a laydown grab to make it 12-6 Plattsburgh heading into halftime. But coming out of the half, the Eagles are soaring. Quarterback Jalen Belrose leaps over the pile to tie the game at 12, and tempers were flaring after that. Two good football teams tonight, and both teams go neck and neck in the third quarter, but in the end, Beekman Town pulls away in the fourth, to take the 34-18 win on the road and stay undefeated. No other New York games tonight, but here are tomorrow's matchups. Ticonderoga visits Saranac. The Chiefs, another 3-1 team, looking to stay competitive with the best in the conference. Plus, Osable Valley heads to Peru. The Patriots still looking for that first win. And Saranac Lake welcomes Mariah for the final Saturday afternoon matchup in Section 7. That covers all eight teams in New York for week five, but a lot of games in Vermont. Let's take a look tomorrow, just a couple to take note of. Colchester and MMU are both three win teams. They meet in Jericho for a Division I matchup, and Woodstock takes on Mill River as well in a D3 showdown. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Keep it here every Friday night for all your high school football needs. I'm Lauren Walsh. Enjoy your weekend.